NASA just rolled out its massive SLS heavy lift rocket to the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center ahead of its first moon mission. Will the SLS program be able to deliver astronauts back to the moon once more? Will it give competitors such as SpaceX and other space agencies a run for their money? Or will excessive costs ground the SLS program before it even starts? Strap yourself in as we explore the top 10 SLS facts that might just blow your mind. Number 10. Orion Capsule The SLS is the only rocket capable of sending the Orion spacecraft, a capsule that sits atop the stack of boosters, to the moon and beyond. The Orion capsule is not only a ride, but a habitat for up to four astronauts. In order to travel long journeys into deep space, the astronauts will need to be able to eat, sleep, work, and pass time aboard for months. For the first launch, Artemis 1, an uncrewed Orion will fly thousands of miles past and around the moon. Approximately 21 days after liftoff, the capsule will splash down in the Pacific Ocean. The purpose of the inaugural Artemis mission is to test its ability to safely re-enter Earth's atmosphere and drop into the correct spot for the Navy to recover. Uber pickups are not an option here. Number 9. State-of-the-art 1980s technology? SLS is literally and figuratively built upon the Space Shuttle legacy. NASA incorporated major components of the shuttle, which operated between 1981 and 2011 into the new rocket. Engineers swapped the iconic space plane out for either a cargo or Orion crew spacecraft. The central orange core is an elongated shuttle external fuel tank, powered by four shuttle engines. Rather than reusing those engines, though, NASA will ditch them into the ocean. Twin shuttle solid rocket boosters will assist the core during the first phase of the flight, providing 75% of the initial skyward push. Now that is what I call hitching a ride. Number 8. Thrust Counts The SLS rocket is super powerful. SLS will produce 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust during liftoff and ascent. That's 15% more than the Apollo Saturn V offered. Future configurations of the new rocket will pack even more punch. The four main SLS engines, fueled with 700,000 gallons of cryogenic, or super-cold propellant, will produce a thrust powerful enough to keep eight Boeing 747s aloft. Truly mind-blowing! Number 7. Disposable to modify the rocket so that it could travel much deeper into space, engineers needed to lighten the load. After all, the moon is roughly 239,000 miles from Earth, around 1,000 times the distance of the space station. But this means that SLS will need new rockets for each mission, and that is costly. At least the engine exhaust is relatively clean, it's a superheated water vapor. The engines are fed liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen fuel. And NASA has also upgraded the booster insulation from asbestos to rubber materials, which is also an environmental improvement. Perhaps future designs might incorporate some reusability to compete against SpaceX. Number 6. Expensive Price Tag When Congress passed a NASA spending bill in 2010, it directed the space agency to build the rocket, even specifying what parts to use, which companies to contract, and what kind of business arrangements to leverage. Each launch would cost an eye-watering $4.1 billion, with half of the tab attributed just to SLS. That's about one-fifth of the entire NASA budget. By 2025, Martin expects NASA will have spent $93 billion on the Artemis program. Inefficient government-initiated programs are not cheap. Number 5. Different Variations The first assembly, called Block 1, will use the central, orange core booster with four main engines. It can send over 59,500 pounds to orbits beyond the moon. 
Later missions, which will carry astronauts, will have a different rocket configuration, including the powerful exploration upper stage. Known as Block 1B, this rocket design can transport crew and large amounts of cargo, up to 83,700 pounds. Now that is a lot of weight. Number 4. Cargo Option The cargo iteration of SLS, also known as Block 2, can provide 9.5 million pounds of thrust and will be the workhorse vehicle for sending cargo to the Moon, Mars, and other deep space destinations. An 8% increase over Artemis 1. This rocket will lift a whopping 101,400 pounds. That is some hefty thrust. Number 3. Big Build Standing at 322 feet high, the Mega Rocket is taller than the Statue of Liberty and London's Big Ben. Compare that to the 184-foot Space Shuttle rocket, which blasted astronauts to the space station in low Earth orbit. Despite towering over its predecessor, SLS is actually a bit shorter than Saturn V, the last rocket that NASA used to take people into deep space. The Apollo-era rocket was 41 feet taller. It seems size does matter. Number 2. Emergency Escape The Launch Abort System, or LAS, is positioned atop the Orion crew module. It is designed to protect astronauts if a problem arises during launch by pulling the spacecraft away from a failing rocket. Weighing approximately 16,000 pounds, the LAS can activate within milliseconds to pull the vehicle to safety and position the module for a safe landing. A tad fancier than your standard emergency exit. Number 1. Ready to Launch NASA announced a provisional launch date of August 29, 2022 for Artemis 1. This came after NASA successfully completed its much-delayed wet dress rehearsal in June, during which it filled SLS with fuel and performed a simulated countdown that stopped just short of launch. Backup dates are set at September 2nd and 5th if required due to weather or technical issues. Let's light this candle! Well, that's it for today's video. Will the SLS program be successful? Let us know in the comments down below. Until next time, fly safe!